This is Josh Friedman coming to you from Sofia, Bulgaria. I am outside the president's office where inside at the moment, Pope Francis is believed to be meeting with Bulgarian president Rumen Radev. Pope Francis has just arrived in Sofia and in the Balkans. He's on a two country trip here visiting first Bulgaria and then he's going over to recently renamed North Macedonia. I believe the Pope has already met with Bulgarian Prime Minister Boyko Borisov, who was supposed to be greeting him at the airport. Then he, the Pope came into the city center. We're right in the heart of Sofia, and there was a band greeting him right here outside the presidential building, which you actually can't really see, but it's part of this Largo complex behind me. There's pretty intense security, although the Pope was walking by just about, let's say about a uh, hundred meters behind me, though at the moment, or at that moment, he was completely blocked from this angle by the press corps and others. I'm hoping that by some happen chance that I might be able to track him down, and if not, get a question in about refugees, which I'll touch in on a moment, then at least get some photos or some video footage to share with you. He's going to be bouncing around town for the remainder of the day. He's got some meetings, some potentially tense meetings. I can't tell you for sure, but it's a very interesting visit in several regards, one of which is, well, Bulgaria is a primarily predominantly Orthodox country. There is a tiny Catholic minority here. There's also a Muslim minority of about 10%, but it's, it's an Orthodox country, very traditionally Orthodox. And there was a synod, a council or a meeting of the Bulgarian Orthodox Church, and they decided that they're going to prohibit joint prayers between Bulgarian Orthodox and the Pope. And the Pope is here and he's planning on leading at least a couple prayer sessions. One might be at or inside or outside the famous Alexander Nevsky Cathedral, which is also located in the heart of Sofia. And because of the Synod's decision, Bulgarian Orthodox are prohibited from joining in with him. So there's probably some tensions over the dispute between the Bulgarian Orthodox Church and the Vatican. And likewise, the Pope is here. He, well, he's bringing a message of peace, which is a bit ambiguous, or a bit, <laughs> I mean, his, his, there's a bit of ambiguity in his message of peace, but what uh, is pretty clear is the Pope's support for refugees, which he's been expressing for years and traveling around the world, uh, sometimes even kissing the feet of refugees. And he's going to be visiting a refugee camp outside or on the outskirts of Sofia. Perchance I could get out there, although it's going to be closed to the public, although I have once visited a closed refugee camp here in Sofia. That's another story for another day. Um, but yeah, Bulgaria is not very receptive of migrants and refugees as I have touched on in the past. So it's kind of interesting to see what the reception and the reaction to the Pope will be on that regard as well. The Pope's coming here and preaching that Bulgaria should be very receptive of refugees and frankly speaking Bulgaria is not very receptive of refugees so this visit is interesting and let's see if I could possibly track him down somewhere around town I'll give it a shot and I'll keep you posted ciao for now from outside the Bulgarian president's office where Pope Francis is currently meeting with President Roman Radev
cari fratelli e sorelle, Cristo è risorto. Lavori nel tempo di Pasqua. Cristo sforzcresse. Desiderio di manifestare stima e affetto a questa venerata chiesa ortodossa di Bulgaria, ho avuto la gioia di salutare e abbracciare in precedenza il mio fratello, sua santità, Neofit, patriarca come pure i metropoli del Santo Signore. Thank you.